Okay, I'm going to demonstrate um, creating a bus in Studio 2 and the Signal Pro, uh, the Signal Flow associated with that. Um, this is for Lesson 3. And for example, what I have up here is a, uh, an audio track that I recorded some drums to. Um, you can see drum overhead 1 here and drum overhead 2 both co color coded yellow. Those are my two tracks that I'm for which I want to create a bus. The idea being that I can control uh, any of the effects that I apply to the drums and any level changes just with one bus. So I'm going to go down here to the the console in Studio One Two, and you can see drum overhead one, drum overhead two. I'm going to create a bus for these two channels by choosing send. When I expand that, I can choose to add a bus channel, which it nicely does for me right there. Oh, it put it in the middle. That's okay. Um, and I'm going to name the bus drum bus so that as I uh, continue expanding this project, I don't lose track of what that bus is for. And I'm also going to color code it yellow to match my drums. So they're all neatly tied together there. So uh, you can see drum overhead 2 is connected to the drum bus. I now need to connect drum overhead 1 to that drum bus, which is now uh, labeled in here under sends. So I click on that, Oop, and there you go. That is automatically um, sending signal to the drum bus. So here, the drum bus is in the middle. I'll click on that to highlight that. Um, you can see the signal flow top to bottom here, inserts, sends. Um, since I want to apply uh, compression and, uh, and uh, EQ to those drums, I'll choose an insert here at the top of the uh, uh, drum bus channel. And uh, let's see. Um, normally I have presets for drums. Let's see if I can if I click on instruments here and choose. Oh, here we go. Drums, and there are presets for overheads. I'm going to click on that, and there we go. It inserted a compressor and a Pro EQ preset for uh, drums on my drum bus. So now, for both channels, I can control the compression can edit the compression, I can go in here, I can edit the EQ, and that will affect both of my uh, overhead drum channels that I've connected to the bus. So that's, that's nice. I'll have the same compression EQ set for both overheads, and I can control the fader for both overheads here, uh, which is also more convenient, uh, more efficient work. So there you go. That's lesson three, uh, creating a bus and explaining the signal flow. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful.